Hey folks, it's Little Black Belt here. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me <clears throat> how I record Heroes and Generals with, with OBS, and so I figured finally I got some free time, I'll make a video on it. So, uh, so first off, the thing you're going to need to do is download OBS. I'll throw the, uh, the link in the description, but you need to make sure that you get OBS Studio. Okay, don't, don't get the regular OBS. When you click download OBS, make sure you download the studio version. Okay, so then secondly, you'll have uh, probably just a blank screen. It won't show this. I'll show you how to get all this stuff set up for now. But uh, it'll, I don't know, let's say, it'll just probably look like a blank screen like this, okay? So the first thing you got to do, uh, you can just right click down here and click add under where it says sources, or you can click the plus sign either way. So click add and then name it like H&G or something. Uh, there's going to be two different scenes, so you'll, you'll want to be able to have a way to uh, keep track of them. So maybe call one HG1 or something like that. We'll call it HG1, okay? Click OK. Uh, and so once you've got that scene, make sure you have it selected, and then go over here to Sources. And uh, this is what makes OBS really nice, is that you can do this thing called Game Capture. Okay, so click Game Capture, and you'll have this thing pop up says says Create New. Uh, you can name it whatever you want. Just be like, uh, I don't know, game. Doesn't matter. And you'll be prompted th with this window. And the first thing you're going to change here is this mode. Uh, switch this to capture specific window. <clears throat> and then the window, you want it to be, um, let's find H, H and G, I think is the, nope, that's the wrong one. This one, yeah, it's the, uh, the loading screen. So because Heroes in General actually creates two different windows when you go into a game, uh, you'll have the loading, or you'll have the main menu, like screen window, and then you'll have the game window when you're in an actual game. So you have to do this while you're in a match. As you can see in the background, I'm actually in, in a, uh, a battle right now. So then once you got that, everything set up, that's pretty much all you got to do. Um, uh, you might want to deselect this, I think. I don't know, I can't remember if I use that or not, I'll have to check. Uh, but click OK, and then you can see when you click here, you'll be, uh, you'll be in this game game window here. Uh, and then, I think what I, way I did with the second scene, you can either do it with the second scene maybe? Uh, no, you have to make a new scene for it. So click Add, and then call it uh, whatever you want, HG Game maybe? Because this is the scene that you're going to use when you're actually in the game. Okay, and then you only have another black screen. Go here again, click Add, and click uh, Game Capture once again. Uh, and then click, uh, you'll have the same Create New, you'll do the same thing, name it whatever you want. Uh, let's call it LBB, it doesn't really matter. Uh, click OK, and then you're back at the screen again. Instead of clicking, uh, you'll still click Capture Specific Window, but this time you'll need to click the H and G, um, Dot exe, and that will give you this window when you're in a battle. And like I said, you have to do this while you're in a battle. This doesn't work if you're uh, if you're just in the loading screen because, like I said, Heroes and Generals opens up a new window for a battle. And so once you got that, uh, then you are good to go. Click OK. And the way that I like to switch in between the two is with a hotkey. So you can go to settings and change your hotkeys. But first, I want to show you the the settings that I use for streaming and whatever. So, um, I'm not going to show you a tutorial on how to stream on YouTube because there's plenty of them out there, but my settings here, um, I do stream with uh, the non-default encoder here, um, but with the default one works fine as well, and uh, my recording is also with that same encoder. My bitrate typically for streaming is around 2600 to 2700, but like I said, a tutorial you can find on, about streaming, there's all kinds of ones like that. And uh, typically I stream in 720p as well. So, but yeah, that's the basics really. Um, so every time that uh, I'm streaming and I go into a match, I, I switch from this. Uh, you just click over here, or like I said, you can set up a hotkey. So on my, on typically on OBS, I'll have uh, I'll have my plus and minus keys on the number pad, which I can just click. I click the minus key, it takes me to this um, this screen. I click the plus key, it takes me to this screen. So. And that's pretty much it, really. I record in 30, 30 uh, FPS, 720p. I may be bumping it up to 1080p at some point on the streams. So we'll see. Uh, it takes a load on my internet, so. Anyway, uh, that's about it. If you guys have any other questions or something that I left out, 
uh, do let me know, okay? Um, if you also, if you wanted to add like a camera or like a face cam, you could do, uh, you go to the scene, either scene, and then just click this, click add, and go to, uh, I think, video capture device. Yeah. And so if you have your webcam plugged in, then you just select the video capture, capture device, select your webcam, and you're good to go. And you can free, um, resize the uh, screen so that it just takes up a little corner of the screen or whatever. But that's about it. So, yeah, like I said, if I, if I left out anything, uh, if I forgot anything that's pertinent, let me know and I'll try to clear up any questions you guys got in the comments section, but uh, I think that should do it. Like I said, get OBS Studio, not OBS. OBS doesn't work, I don't think, so. But yeah, that's it, guys. So, if you got any more questions, let me know. Otherwise, this is Little Black Belt out, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.